Hi everyone, Jimmy here. Welcome to the first episode of Learning a New Language with Mr. Multilinguist. Uh, today we're going to do Spanish. And I know I've said in the vlog that I will do the Cantonese first, but I think um, my friend's going to come over later on and we'll film that uh, another time. And so uh, I think I can start off with Spanish first. And first of all, I just want to say Spanish is um, one of my favourite languages and um, it's a very musical language. We'll start off by saying, by introducing, introducing yourself. To say hello uh, in Spanish, it's hola and uh, it's spelt H-O-L-A and H in Spanish, it's a silent sound so you don't um, pronounce it and uh, you just say the vowel after that, so it's hola Repeat after me, hola. Uh, and to say I am, or as in I'm called, or my name is, it's me llamo. So I would say, hola, me llamo Jimmy, or Jaime. It's my Spanish name. To say what's your name, uh, it's como te llamas. That means how do you call yourself. And of course, to say yes or no, it's si for yes, and no, it's no. No. It's a very nasal sound, I think. Yes, so uh, that's very basic. And to ask someone how you are or how they are, you say que tal. Que tal. Basically, when you have q u e sounds or q u i's, it's always que or qui, not que or qui. So just to make sure you know that. And uh, normally you'd answer, you'd answer back, I'm fine, or uh, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. And so you'd say, bien, gracias. That literally means good, thank you. Uh, bien is B I E N. And gracias. G R A C I A S, and when you have a C I sound or C E or Z sound, you always pronounce it T a T H in uh, like English. So when in English you have the, there, there are, uh, etc. Um, in Spanish you'd say the, so gracias. And yes, so I'd say hola. And you say hola, and then I say me llamo Jimmy. Y tú, that means and you. And you say, and then I'd say qué tal. And then you say bien gracias. And then you can ask me back by saying y tú. And then I'd say bien gracias. To say where you're from, you say soy de. Soy means I am. De in this case it's I'm from. So S O Y D E. Soy de Chino, Hong Kong. I'm from Hong Kong, China. And so you could say Soy de and the place you're from. Uh, for example, if it's England, it's Inglaterra. United States of America. Los Estados Unidos de America. Hong Kong, it's Hong Kong. China, it's China. And if you're from France, it's Francia, etc. I'll put the list of countries um, that I know of in Spanish in the description below. And uh, hopefully that's going to help. To say I live in or you live in, it's vivo en. Vivo, it's the verb to say I live. It's conjugated from vivir, the, the verb vivir, which means to live. Vivo en means I live in. Vivo en Inglaterra, that means I live in England. To be more specific, to say um, which part of England you live in. For example, I live in the south of England. You'd say, en el sur de Inglaterra. Sur. Sur, S-U-R, it's south. 
Yes,、uh, if you want to express that you're sorry, normally people say perdón. That means、um, uh, pardon me, basically.、Uh, but in a more formal, serious situation, you'd say lo siento. Lo siento. Yes, north is norte. South is sur. East, este. And west, oeste. Yes, and、um, let's. Ooh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> let's recap again.、Um, hola, hello. Me llamo Jimmy. Oh, your name. ¿Qué tal? How are you? Bien, gracias. Good, thank you.、Uh, soy de Chino. I'm from China, Hong Kong. Vivo en Inglaterra. I live in England. Uh, to say China, it's China, England, Inglaterra, America, United States of America, Los Estados Unidos de America. Los Estados Unidos de America. Yes. Yeah. And、um, to say、uh, you're sorry for something is perdón. In a more serious situation, you'd say lo siento. And yes, that's it for introducing yourself.、Uh, so let's talk about numbers now. Numbers. Everyone loves numbers. Nof loves. <laughs> okay. So、um, you guys are probably,、um, would probably have、um, heard the Spanish numbers from somewhere because they're pre- pretty much. Um, well, it's a very widely spro- spoken language、um, across the whole world. And so let's go over one to ten for now.、Uh, one is uno, two, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uno, dos, tres, Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve y diez. Yes.、Um, let's go over eleven to twenty as well. Once, eleven. Doce, twelve. Sorry about that. That's a flight. Oh, it's a flight. It's a flight. Get out of my room. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yes. Once, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, 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 fifteen, fifteen. And from then onwards, it's going to be dieciséis. That means six. But it's ten plus six, basically, and then diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, and then veinte, twenty, and from then onward onto ninety-nine, it's going to be the number、uh, of what、well, the number of tens plus the number. I hope you get what I mean. So、um, it'll be veinte, twenty. Treinta, thirty, cuarenta, forty, cincuenta, fifty, sesenta, sixty, setenta, seventy, ochenta, eighty, noventa, ninety, and a hundred is cien. And so, what I mean by The number of tens plus a number is twenty、um, six, so it's twenty six, noventa y nueve, ninety nine, and so on and so forth. So、um, to say a thousand, it's mil. So we're pretty much gone over most of the basics you'd have to know、uh, when you introduce yourself to someone. But next time we're going to talk about.、Uh, Yes, verbs.、Uh, I'm going to introduce some new verbs to you guys and how to conjugate them, meaning how to change them into different forms like 
I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, that kind of thing. And then um, we could talk about, um, yes, we could talk about different vocabs, we can, I can introduce you to new vocab, and we can build onto that, etc, etc, and eventually we're going to get pretty well in Spanish. So if you like my videos, don't forget to like, comment, share or subscribe and don't forget to be awesome. Bye. Oh, yes. Adios. A D I O S. Adios means goodbye. And to say until next time or see you then, it's hasta la vista or hasta luego. Hasta la vista means and uh, I'll see you later. Well, until next time. H A T H A S T A note that the H sounded silent. H A S T A L A B I V I S T A and hasta luego hasta and then L U E G O hasta luego amigos yes amigos it's friends you, of course you know that hasta la hasta la vista amigos.